Now on the tee from Belgium, Thomas Peters. Well, he hasn't played since the Open, so he's fresh. He said he actually tends to play pretty well when he comes back from a break, so it'll be interesting to watch out there today, Tim. Certainly will. Man, his game suits this course so well. Twice a winner here. Length off to see a big asset, and he has it. Just tweak down the left-hand side, but looks as though the line will be okay. This is a bit dodgy. For Thomas Peters, only a yard nearer, but his natural ball flight. He's going to have to sort of hit a, almost like a low, punchy draw with this. And with water left, it's not easy. Down breeze is not going to help him. Control to a minimum here. just dived into the long stuff as described by Anthony Wall though not an easy shot to control it's a horrible lie Tim for Peters back into a little bit of breeze but poof. that's a touch of genius I have to say Anthony I think his short game is one of the most underestimated in the world he comes up with those sort of shots often he really does he's exceptional with a wedge particularly when it's a tight or you know tight position or a difficult lie like that it's terrific to the first and Thomas Peters for an opening birdie only complication here is he's just putting through his shadow but he doesn't miss too many of those Not over enamoured with it, little slap of the thigh. He hasn't quite caught it, but well, he's got away with it. He's just going to wait by the looks of it for Thomas Peters to play his second. Yeah, on a down slope. I think actually it won't do him any for any harm. Actually, this will kick forward off that front edge. Just 60 yards or so. Pretty simple. a quality approach well Thomas Peters birded the opening hole so this is for two in a row to start his day no problem whatsoever for the two-time D&D rail check masters champion but there's not many flush it like Thomas Peters and you'll need a flush today that's a certainty 229 as Johnny was saying it's a brute What an advantage when you can get it to go that high and that soft with a long iron. Thomas Peters. Delightful tee shot at this long par three. And follows it with an equally good putt, beautifully done. Leaking right. And again, may have just crept over the sand. Look, I saw a bounce there. Should have a little bit of a release on it coming out of the rough. Oh, that dug in. Yeah, it really did. He anticipated the release just as you is. You did, Anthony, but didn't get it. Peters to get to four under. Anthony. I think this is left to right up the hill. Bit of a bottleneck, a lot of people behind this green, quite a lot of noise about. Well, there'll be more noise now. That's an exceptional putt from Thomas Peters. Rolled right into the middle at beautiful speed, and it's his fourth birdie of the day. Now, I chatted to his coach. Pete Cowan a little while ago and said he used to be guilty of trying to play the perfect shot every time and he's gradually weaned him off that and he plays the percentages more now and he's become a better player for it. On the down slope for Peters. He could almost throw this on down breeze. Back left pin. From the first time he ever came out on tour, Peters, he always looked like he had major winning potential. 
Missed the one at six. Just lacked a bit of pace. So keep the speed up, Thomas, and you're a winner. Beautiful. What a great start it's been for Thomas Peters, the two-time D&D Rail Met Czech Masters champion. Five under par for the first eight holes. He's got a par five, albeit a long one, next up as well. A couple of huge bunkers down the left, Tim, for Peters at 10, but they're looking more down the right. Driver trying to really flush it here, launch it. Seems to be really content with the way he's swinging. As I say that, he collides with the tree, but there we are. Seems to be driving the ball pretty darn well, generally. Doesn't need to be too aggressive with it. This is left. Ooh. They were begging it to catch the bunker, and that's why. He's not a player who likes to hang around for too long, is he? he? He likes to get up and he likes to get on with it. So maybe that factors into why he, he didn't call for a referee. Yeah, I agree. What I was pleased with, with the second shot was obviously a poor one and it went into what looked like a horrible spot, but his temperament was brilliant. Thomas Feet is hoping to add to his footage of putts hole today. The Odyssey putting stats, 47 feet so far. But this is for par for the Belgian. Back edge, probably the play. a little bit anxious I needn't be that's a magnificent oh he's brought it to a standstill so quickly as well that's amazing oh well, a bit more pace it might have held its line a bit better but not an easy one It is an easy birdie, though, isn't it? In the end for Thomas Peters, so he's back on track, back to five under. He's not a man who hits away from too many flags. Uh, not a surprise, two beauties. Is it going to be another birdie here for Thomas Peters? Great tee shot at 13. Another very nice roll. And Peters with just the one wobble. That came at the par 5, 10 3, made a, a bogey 6 to 6 under par. And he is in a share of the lead. 5 at 6 under. A lot of club this for Peters. He's going to have to go down the right. Bunker down the right, he can't reach, left he can. Down the hill at 14. Oh, how can you not love that swing? Whew. The greens are still soft, which I'm quite surprised about. So I do think he needs to pitch this past. But isn't he really just chopping a gap wedge in there, Peters? Beautifully controlled. Really was amazing. You can come back off a four or five week break and look on every aspect of your game to this extent. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you play that 14th hole. Booming drive, a little, uh, well, hardly a full wedge, was it, for him? And that is three birdies in a row for Thomas Peters, who hits the front. Plays like this, he wins comfortably, in my books. A little left, is it? Yep. But man, <laughs> a little bit perfect, too. I know when he won the other first time in 2015, I think he was the only one in the field that could take that bunker on. 
can beaters take advantage? Super long tee shot, just a flip with a mid wedge, as Anthony was telling us. Over the top of the flag, spin. And all in all, pretty good. When you see him playing like this, you wonder how he ever shoots over par. Start agreeing with Anthony Wall. He's going to be hard to beat if he hits the ball as well as he is and putts as well as he is right now. But it's <laughs> rarely like that for 72 holes. You normally have a little wobble, and it depends how big a wobble he has. But looking imperious today. More steady, 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 steady. Oh, oh you are joking. You are joking. Actually a good angle now. I know it's cost him a shot, but as I said earlier, I wouldn't back against him, not getting up and down. He's been good today with his club. <laughs> Nicely done. I know, I see what you're doing. He's got a chance. He's aiming at it, you know. But it's a little slower, I think, than in previous years. It's quite a grainy green. Go on, in you go. I'm rooting for you. Oh, well, you've been having too good of a day, Anthony. There you go. Let's hope it is just the one drop shot, though, for Thomas Peters. So just uh, a little bit of work here for Thomas Peters for his five at the last. Slightly disappointing finish, but all in all, an excellent day's work, especially after a month off. It is an opening 65 for the two-time Czech Masters champion. And there is every chance that he is going to take the lead in today, too. Thomas, an opening round 65, solo leader. You must be happy with that start. Definitely. I, I, I made some putts that I, um, me and my playing partner thought was going to miss today. It was, <laughs> the greens are very uh, bumpy near the end, so... I think I got a bit of luck, um, put some good strokes on it, but um, it was, uh, yeah, I found it tough putting. How important was that fast start, three birdies and four holes? Um, you know, it just, like all the lines off the tees, obviously, I've, you know, I've played well here in the past, but ju they just suit me and, I, you know, I, I'm excited to hit the tee shot on, on two, for example, just to get it as far down as, as I can. And then, I mean, you leave yourself a 40 yard up and down, so um, it's not like I'm hitting six irons to two feet. Um, but yeah, the fast start was good. That four on on three was really good. That's a good birdie. Um, so yeah, it was um, it was good today. The uh, the the chip on one as well, touch of genius. Yeah, that was good. I had no idea how was that how that was going to come out. I've had a, a couple of flyers today. The one on the, on ten was, was shocking. Uh, same on one, but um, you just got to read them better. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here. <laughs>